What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care. And today we're in the shop with some headlight restoration. Now this is my last project of the year. We're in the back of the shop just wrapping everything up and I'm gonna do this easy detailing job just to wrap up the year. Now if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Check out all the other videos we have right here on our channel. Now today we have this SL55 AMG. It has some seriously nasty headlights. We wanted to do these for a while but we've been holding off to show you guys in a video. So why not get it done at the end of the year? Why not wrap it up on some good details? Detailing. So uh, let's talk about headlight restoration. Now, if you guys want it more in-depth detailing on headlight restoration, the products used, all the breakdowns, everything, go check our, our other video on headlight restoration where we talk about all the products in our BMW headlight restoration video. Now, all headlights that are plastic like this one, they're all pretty much the same restoration process. So we're gonna keep going with that process and we're gonna move it a little bit faster here as well. Now, these headlights have never been restored as far as I know. They don't look restored and they have heavy oxidation on the headlights. So we're gonna go ahead and sand those off and then we're gonna go ahead and buff it off. A little bit of backstory on this vehicle, doing older Mercedes-Benz like this. This is a 2003, so this vehicle was just a great demonstration on what headlights look at, like after they've been years old. These headlights right here are chrome on the inside. And on Mercedes-Benz, the chrome on the inside actually fades. So we're gonna do what we can to restore the outside of the headlight, but we don't know. There might be some fading on the inside that we can't see because this is all faded on the outside. So we're gonna make it look a lot better. It's gonna totally improve the look of the car and it's gonna keep the factory headlights as well. So let's go ahead and just get started. So the first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna take some detail spray and uh, we're just gonna spray down the headlight. Now, one of the things I like to do here is I like to open up the hood if you can. That's gonna give me access to the top up here. And really the cleaning with the detail spray is just to get any dirt off. Uh, Cause you don't wanna be sanding on here with dirt on there. So now that I got the whole area clean, let's go ahead and start the sanding process. Now I'm gonna take some blue painters tape and I'm actually gonna cover up the bumper right here and the fender. This is preventative to make sure that you don't sand off paint, okay? So technically you don't have to do this if you don't need to, if there's no paint uh, around it. But sometimes like, I just wanna let you know, like uh, tape sometimes just doesn't stick to this. Sometimes if there's wax or sealant on there, uh, it doesn't stick. So we might have to like come back and retape again if we need to. This is just the, the um, just the game here with the headlight restoration. And as you see, I'm not going like crazy on the tape to make sure it's perfect. It's really actually just to make sure that I don't sand the, uh, I don't sand the paint itself on the bumper. Okay guys, as you can see, I didn't spend a whole lot of ta time taping this. This tape job is pretty garbage, but this is what it is like in the real world, so I'm kind of keeping it real on this one. So next we're gonna take some water. I got just a big jug of water right here, and this is one of my detailer's tricks. We need to lubricate with water while we sand, but we're gonna take some Masterson's Wash and Shine shampoo, and we're literally just gonna put one drop in here. I'm gonna try to get this on the camera so you guys can see literally how much I'm gonna drop in here, okay? That's it, literally one drop, okay? <laughs> I was like the tiniest drop, I don't know if you guys can see it there on the camera, but it's in there. It, it, you can see there's a little bit of suds in there. It just gives me a little bit of lubrication uh, when I start, okay? So I got a 32 ounce bottle, Masterson's bottle with a upgraded sprayer. When I do jobs like this, I like to use the best sprayer that I can so that I get full coverage and my hand don't get tired. So let's go ahead and dig down into the bucket of water. I have a bucket of water down here, guys. So if you guys can uh, take a look at that, we'll have Mr. Camera Guy show you guys. Got a five, uh, three and a half gallon bucket right here. Uh, and we're gonna start out with 1500 grit sanding paper. So we got 1500 grit sanding paper. Uh, let's start with this. We're gonna do a three step process on this with sanding. We're gonna go 1500, we're gonna go uh, 2,000 and then we're gonna go 2,500. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and sand off this headlight um, and we'll show you guys the process. Now, the process of doing uh, headlights, the 1,500 grit step is really the number one step when you're doing this. So if you guys are learning headlight restoration um, and you wanna do this, make sure that you spend the most time on the 1,500 grit. Like don't move on to the 2000 grit until you're fully satisfied with that 
1500 grit sand, okay? Um, as you can see, look how much milkiness is coming off of the headlight. This is all of the oxidized plastic that's absorbed the solar rays. So we're gonna go ahead and work, sand this off, and uh, just keep watching and we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm going in side to side motion, no circles. Now, as you guys are watching this, we'll stop for a moment. Um, it's already starting to feel smooth on this side. I'm doing this like bigger part and then I'm gonna move to the center. Um, but you'll feel in the sandpaper, it actually start to like go smooth. Okay, you guys can see the difference already right there. I haven't even touched that side, but it's very yellow. This side's already looking less yellow and that's what we're looking for. I told you guys, as you can see, my tape's kind of falling off there. It's mainly just to protect me from stuff like this right here at the edge. So I'll focus on the edge a little bit and then move on. Guys, this seriously, it's tiring. It's no joke, you hear me like breathing, it's no joke. I also try to switch hands a lot. And just keep it wet. You don't have to keep it crazy. Just give it a little bit, little sprays, you're good. Okay, I've been sanding for a while. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse and then I'm gonna grab the air gun and we're going to blow off all of this water and then we're gonna inspect. I already see an area that I don't like right there. Okay, now where we're at right now, I'm sanded and now I wanna do what's called an inspection and see where I'm going because like I said, the 1500 grit step is the hardest step. So I'm gonna knock this step out. I'm actually gonna take a break, come back and do the other two steps because the other two steps will actually take as long as this step. So I try to just get this step really good. So let's go ahead and, and just observe here what I'm doing. I see some areas that needs to be taken care of right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and sand a little bit more on this. And then uh, I'm gonna sand a little bit more on this and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get down here because as you can see on the bottom, it looks like I need some more sanding, okay? So I don't wanna like mess up my bumper, okay? Uh, I'm gonna try and like as much as I can protect that, but I'm gonna go really, really close to it with the sandpaper, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Now, as you can see, guys, I got that whole area. It looks like completely more sanded. There's a small area right here that I missed, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and keep sanding this little area right here. But this light, it looks pretty well sanded. I'm just gonna give like one last go over so that all the sanding marks are in like a uniform direction. It's kind of hard to uniformly sand a big piece that's round. Um, but I'm gonna try and just make all the sanding marks in one uniform direction. That looks pretty good, guys. I hope you guys can see that on the camera. I know it's a little bit tough, but you see how this side looks really hazy? That's what we want, and mainly we wanna see if it feels smooth. This side feels smooth. This side does not feel smooth. This side feels smooth. So uh, as you can see, we've got a nice, a nice uh, uh, even finish, and you can tell it's a nice even finish because look, when we spray it with water, see how clear it gets? That means that we're doing a good job on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this side, bust out the sandpaper. I'm gonna try and keep this covered up as much as I can, uh, but this is a hard bumper. Some of them don't tape good, <laughs> and this is just one of those ones that doesn't tape good. So uh, we're going to do this side, and then uh, we'll inspect after. Let's keep going. So tiring, for real, no joke. If you guys are all watching this, like, I hope you guys, uh, maybe we'll stop the video right here and talk about this. Like, there's ways to do this with machines if you guys want to, but the reason I'm doing this video by hand is because um, I wanna just show you guys, you don't need like air to do this. The only other way to do this is to use like an air tool. And obviously I have air, so I could be using that right now. But I'm just doing this by hand to show you guys what it's like to do by hand. 
Personally, I think when you do it by hand, you actually get better results because you're able to uh, get the edges. The biggest part that's missed on these things is when people don't get the edges right. So I like to spend a lot of time getting the edges. Okay, we're not doing any cuts in this, so let me show you guys what's up. My, I just started to feel it go smooth, and that's really what we want. That means like I got all the dead plastic off. Okay, let's go ahead and inspect. What we're looking for is even coverage. Once again, like always, a little bit down here at the bottom. I missed it. And I think also right there in this little center part, I need to get a little more. So I'm just going to dip my, dip my, um, sandpaper in the bucket and just get it right there. It just needs to stay wet a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and sand the bottom part. And I think we're good. Okay guys, so let's uh, just wipe this down a little bit. I'm just gonna rip all this tape off and I will retape. Tape just doesn't seem to stick to wet surfaces very well. So uh, there's really no tape that does. So uh, the best you can do is, is retape if you need. Got one falling in the bucket there. Okay. Real life video, just keeping it real today. Okay, so I'm gonna inspect. I still see an area at the bottom that doesn't look smooth. And it's not gonna look smooth later on. So, as you can see, I'm not taping up here, I'm just doing it. And sometimes, you just have to... believe it or not, folks, that's the best it's gonna get. I think that's, uh, I think that's a really smooth finish right there. Okay, so now, as you can see, we've got a little bit of scratches right there. This is all gonna buff away, so I'm not really concerned about a lot of this. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and retape it up, and then. Let's keep on buffing. Okay, we're back up, we're taped up. Let's keep on going, man. Gotta keep this job going. I wanna get on vacation. So let's go ahead and get this done today. Also, if you notice, this car has two headlights. So if you guys actually wanna see what we're doing on the other headlight, follow us on TikTok, um, at TikTok, uh, Masters of Car Care. So let's go ahead and uh, put our sandpaper back in there. It's an old sandpaper. We're switching to 2000 grit. P2000 wet dry, okay? And I'm also using like a little, uh, a little, just a little soft pad. Uh, sand, this is called a sanding pad. You can pick this stuff up online, it's really cheap. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep going. Next step, we're gonna go 2000 grit and we're gonna refine the finish. And like I told you before, the 2000 grit, it really shouldn't take very long because this is already pretty sanded, okay? So let's do it. Okay, yeah, it's around. Okay, there we go guys. My air compressor needs to fill back up. But this is where we wanna look and it feels much smoother. I know it looks like complete garbage right now, but that's gonna change all at the end. So let me go flip on the air compressor and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna set up my next uh, tape. Uh, I'm gonna tape a little more and we're gonna uh, set up our next sand. And so we're gonna put the old sandpaper in the bucket and we're gonna switch to 2500 right after this. So let me go flip back on my air compressor and let's start sanding.
Okay, the air compressor's back on. I blew off all the air, and this is where we're at in the inspection. Super smooth, uh, this is with uh, 2000 grit, or uh, 2500 actually, it's 2500 grit. So we did the 1500, the 2000, the 2500. It's super smooth. We're gonna go ahead and take a five minute break, me and the camera guys and uh, we're gonna get our polishers ready and get the pads on the polisher, and then we're gonna buff this out. We'll see you in like five minutes. Now we're at the polishing step. We finished up the 2500 grit sanding. Feels super smooth now. Now we're gonna go ahead and polish it out. So we're gonna do a three-step polishing on this with a rotary polisher. I got a flex uh, rotary polisher here. You can use a drill if you'd like or an air drill. If you don't have access to those, you could use a dual action polisher, but the rotary produces the best results. So we're gonna take uh, a, a little bit of compound here. There we go, that happens. And then we're gonna, we're gonna use our Masterson's Extreme Cutting Compound. This is gonna remove 1500 grit sanding scratches, even though this is 2500, it's gonna make an easy polish out of this. And so uh, just give one spray of water just to mist that out. And then let's put it on here and let's start buffing. Looking good, a lot better, a lot better. Let's go ahead and uh, polish again. Dude, that's looking really good. That's looking a fantastic difference. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, polish it one more time with the cutting because just like uh, the 1500 grit sanding, you wanna go ahead and do a lot of this step. This is what really makes the big difference. Cool. Okay, man, big difference on that, man. This is like, I would say about an 80, maybe like a 95% difference uh, just from that. And like I was telling earlier, I am noticing some fading on the inside of the headlight. Nothing I can do about that. But I'm gonna make this outside just look fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another pad. I got a white pad here, let's open it up. We're gonna swap over to a white pad. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our swirl remover. For the guys on the camera, this is the swirl remover polish. This is the next step. This is a medium grade polish. And we're just gonna put a few drops right there. Don't worry about getting some on the car. There we go. Cool thing about this bumper is it's filthy dirty and we're gonna clean this whole car afterwards.
There we go. Already looking more clear, man. We're getting that more clarity back into this headlight. And let's go ahead and do the last polishing step. Switch to a black pad. And for the last step, we're going to use the Mastersense Clarity Final Polish. This is a extra fine jeweler's polish. You don't need that much of it. We're only going to put like three dots there. That's all we really need. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and give it a last buff. Boom. This is about the normal speed I start working uh, when I do my shop. Let's go ahead and just take off these uh, uh, pieces of paper. I actually just throw the paper on the ground and then I come back with a broom after and sweep these up. Keep it in one little pile here. It's kind of how I work. There we go. Now, you notice this trashed front bumper all on the camera. What I like to do is I like to take some detail. If I wasn't washing the car, I'd take some detail spray. We're gonna wash this whole car after. But I'm gonna take a little detail spray and just wipe down the whole area. There we go. Cool, that's a big difference. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rotary polisher and I got some polish on it. I'm just gonna polish along this edge right here to clean up any marks. There we go. Now you're not supposed to polish hard on edges, but we're doing some color sanding right here and it's just the name of the game. It really does clean up. You just go gently along the edge, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna take some shield paint sealant. You can use a ceramic coating. You can use some wax. I just like to use this paint sealant. For me, it works great on headlights. And I like it because like, you know, we're not ceramic coating the whole car. And I can always add ceramic coating to this later, but this is gonna give me UV protection because now that we've cleaned up the headlights, we don't want it to yellow again. So what we're gonna do is put this on. We're gonna uh, wait 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back, buff this off, and then we're gonna be good to go. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just buff this off. Bada bing, bada boom, and there we go. That's a nice difference, feels so smooth compared to what it looked like before. Dude, that's a freaking big difference right there. And this is a, a great example of what I do here at my detailing shop here in California is we're brought cars that are older and might need to look good again. And this is something that happens to every car out here in California is the headlight restoration. Let's show you guys some befores. Here's the before, it just looks trashy. It's kind of hard to see on camera, uh, but the after it's just really, really clear, especially when you look at both headlights, it's just a big difference, guys. Now this works on all vehicles old and new, they have plastic headlights. If you follow this tutorial, it's gonna work great for you guys. If you need any of the products that we used in this video, go ahead and check out our website, mastersensewax.com. You get a full selection of detailing products or come down to our detailing supply store here in California. We're located at 4308 East La Palma Avenue in Anaheim, California. Guys, hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm Greg Masterson from Masterson's Car Care. If you ever need anything, feel free to give us a call or check out our videos, give us a follow. I'm a professional detailer that loves giving professional advice just for you guys. Now, we'll see you next time. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care. Always remember, have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.